Cindy Berkland here, cindyberkland.com. And let's talk about, are you attractive today? And when I talk about attractive guys, I'm going to talk about back to the money thing. So let's talk about what sexy looks like. And I'm going to talk about this and I liken it to dating. Um, if you were out there dating someone, ladies, um, what would you like your potential spouse or guy you want to, to get with? What makes him attractive? Um, does he own a home or is he renting? Um, does he have savings in the bank or is he broke? Uh, is his retirement set up or he has none, hasn't even thought about it? Uh, is he debt free? His cars are paid off, no credit cards. Or is he loaded and lassoed with debt, student loans, credit card debt, you know, just financed a brand new car? Um, how does he act? Is he secure? Is he confident with his money? Or is he concerned and always stressed out? Um, ladies and gentlemen, it is super important that we become attractive when it comes to our money. And when I talk about attractive, guys, um, savings while we're getting there and retirement while we're getting there, nothing really sexy about it. I always say it's kind of boring as we get there, but it's about taking daily steps, weekly steps, monthly steps to have something that we want. And I want to ask you, what are you willing to give up to have what you want? So let me use this as an example. I'm pretty much all of us. Um, I know I used to be guilty of this. I used to go to Starbucks every single day. And not only did I go every day, sometimes I would go twice a day. And I would go on the weekends. It wasn't something I just did during the week on my way to um, my office, but I would go even on the weekends. I was, I didn't, I didn't even think about it. And after a while, you know, when I hit a really big wall financially um, back in 08 when the crash happened, I really had to take a hard look at why I couldn't figure out why I didn't have any money and where all my money was going. And I was just on autopilot and oblivious to how I was spending my money. Now, this is way back before I got into the money business. And I ended up in the money business because I had so many issues and so many bad things happened to me that I realized it was really time to take massive action and start doing things differently. But I want to talk about the coffee shop thing today because many of us are guilty of running over the coffee shop every single day and spending money. And I'm going to say this guys, $5 a day on coffee over a 30 day period ends up to be $150 a month over a one year period. That is $1,800 a year. And when people tell me I don't have the money to save or to start my savings, or I don't have the money to really invest in my retirement right now, I'll do it later. Well, guess what? If you are doing things like the daily trip to the coffee shop, you do have an opportunity right there uh, to become sexier when it comes to your money. What would you do with an extra $150 a month? Would you start some kind of a, a savings? Would you start a retirement plan? What would you do? What are the things you're doing every single month that is causing you to go backwards with your money rather than forwards? Are you an Amazon impulsive Amazon shopper? Do you get bored at night or if you have a bad day, do you go out and go shopping? I, I have a girlfriend that does that. That's how she reduces her stress. But what it does is it's caused a lot of issues in her, her uh, situation with her spouse with overspending is causing a lot of problems with them. Shopping is not the solution when you have a bad day. Getting a coffee every single day when you could be making it at home and making it even better than the coffee shop. Guys, all those little things add up. So what can we do to bring sexy back? And this looks like becoming more attractive with your money. Take baby steps, start today. What can I do to reduce my spending so that my savings can go up? Let's get a hold of get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com and let's have a conversation and let's do some coaching together and see what we can do to help. Yeah.